Hello, it's Noir Nerd, and this is going to be a quick tutorial covering how to convert a um, just a basic HTML project with CSS and JavaScript into a mobile phone app using Apache Cordova. Now, you could use this for many things. Uh, I've been using it recently for converting a Twine project that I'm working on into a mobile phone app on Android. It's going to be covering Android, I'm not dubbed on iOS, but um, Without further ado, I've got this pre-done project which I made a while ago, which is an awesome crosses game. Uh, I'm not going to go into the, what, what's going on here because it's not the purpose of the project, but um, suffice to say we're just covering how to convert this project here, which is the Nautical Crosses project with a HTML JavaScript CSS, how to convert that into uh, an app that would run on an Android Okay, so let's get to Apache Cordova. So there's a few pre prerequisites which I've already been through, which I'll just describe. So first up, you need to install Cordova. So I've already done this. So there's a little point in me doing it, but open, uh, for example, open a PowerShell if you're on Windows or uh, just a shell, and you run the command uh, npm install globally and then Cordova. That's the first part of what you'd want to do, press return. I've already installed it, so if, for example if I type Cordova V, it should give me the version number, I think. Yeah, so that shows I've got it installed because it shows 10.0. We'll do that first. There's a bunch of other prerequisites you have to do as well, so for example if I just, which I've already done, so I can't reinstall the, JD, the Java SDK and all that sort of thing, so I'll just quickly go over this. So yeah, you need to install the Java development kit, which is a requirement. Um, Gradle, I think the, and the Android SDK. One other thing to note before we go forward as well is that I had to go into, and when I installed the Android SDK, I had to go into uh, and install the command line tools because it was complaining about licensing. But um, you might not encounter that, I don't know. Maybe not everyone will encounter that. Um, okay, and also basically it's all listed here, all the sort of prerequisites you need. It's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, assuming you're working in Windows, you need to also add some environment variables which are described here. Uh, so that's that I've already done. So I'll just cover uh, the um, actual how to go and create a new app, essentially. So we've got a directory, we we'll go to dev work, open a new shell, PowerShell like that. And we want to add this command here, which is Cordova create And I want to call it uh, mobile n and c maybe. Ah, I don't know if it's about put over. Let me show you what I like. Mobile So this should create, yep, there you go. See, so it's create a new Cordova project. So it starts creating, so that's created. And I need to go, oh, I've done too many, haven't I? Uh, what does it call it? Well, this directory is a ton of. Uh, what do I call it again? Let's see, I'll just go up, scroll up, and go cd. So just change directory to this one. There we go. So now I, now I change directory into the working folder. And uh, we need to add the platform we're added for. So in this instance, we want to add uh, Android because I'm the whole purpose of this is for showing how to create for Android. I'm not, like I said, I'm not necessarily covering creating for uh, iPhone or any other platform, just Android in this case. Add and then you add Android and let's do that. There we go. So they're fetching, fetching those files now that it requires. 
and it'll just do its thing. So this might take a while, so I might speed it up possibly. Okay, adding Android project, project. You can see it doing everything that it needs to do. There we go. So that's now done. So let's go and navigate to it here, open and go to some dev work I think somewhere. Dev work. Oh yeah, sorry, me being stupid. Uh, okay, so now we've got this WWF order, which is where we'll put our content. I'll copy that all in across here. So we've got platforms, we've added uh, Android, so we just want Android support. Just look to support Android. It's a plugins folder. The Git ignore has ignores the plugins and the platforms. We have package like JSON. Mm, we can also edit this. Oh, we can edit the package JSON to change the name of the um, the project. Um, not only covering that, we're just covering just basically getting it uh, built so that we can test it on our mobile. There's probably more configuration stuff if you go over, but I'm still learning a lot of it to be honest. So yeah, I've got a config file here as well. Like, okay, so let's go on to the next steps. So first thing I guess we want to do is we want to open up this www folder. We want to replace it with the actual content I want to do. Otherwise, it's just generic content it will build. So if we go, we go to the this one, find. The pre existing CSS HTML and JavaScript. So there's not some crosses. And I'm just going to copy it all across. Like that. Copy it across. Replace everything. Just check it works. Yeah, it looks like it's worked. Oh, that's one. Okay, so that's working. It's the content copied across into the mobile folder. Okay, so next we just want to build the thing. So let's do that. So just go in, in the folder, kind of run Android. So this should now create a build. You can just see the same. Choosing the Android SDK to build the APK file, which we can use to test out. Just using Gradle, Daemon. Uh, I, I wish I could probably go into a lot more of the setup, but like I said, I've already set this up, so I'd have to uninstall it. It might be a pain in the bum. Okay, so the build successful. Good. 21 seconds it took. And now we should have an APK. Let's just wait a few minutes. Da -da 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 -da. And then, hopefully, I should be able to get it onto my. This. I'll demonstrate it running on my phone as well, maybe it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now if I go to see the build successful, 35 seconds. Okay, there we go, so it was all done. So if I go, if I want to actually test it out now, go to platforms, Android, um, app, build, outputs, APK, debug. This is the APK file here, it's not very big at all, it's just over a meg. I'll just send it to myself quickly. Send that to myself so I can open it on my phone. Obviously you'll need, if you're testing it on your phone, if it's because it's not in the Play Store and I registered anything, you need developer mode activated on your phone, otherwise it won't work. That's just a, uh, a note on that. Uh, you have to. There's different ways of setting the developer mode on your phone, but because it's like an unsigned app or whatever, you'll need to you need to properly test it. Let me just check how that's. I should have sent now. 
Get to my save messages on here. There we go. Got app debug. It's just there. Just run it. Just check it works. So that bit, that basically should be all you need for for that. Okay, so it's going to wipe over the number. Okay, it's installed. It's just installing. It's just the default. Uh, hello cadaver, but that doesn't matter really too much. And bada bing, bada bosh. Doesn't look very good, but it works, I think. Yeah, there you go. So, doing, doing. It wasn't really, it doesn't look like it was really ever set up. Oh, well, yeah, you can sort of scroll it across like that. Let it swing. So then now, that what was a web app from HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript is now a playable game. On the Android phone, running in uh, yeah, running on Android. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'll say one thing. I'll say one error problem I ran into, and I'll just cover it quickly here. If you do find that um, you get a mess error message about a license, this is what you do. I'll quickly just show. You. Open up your uh, copy of Android Studio. Just because you might run into this problem when you, and this will be the end of the video after this, you might run into this issue possibly. If you, so if you do, if you run into the issue with it, the on the command line when you're trying to build the app, it says something to do with the Android SDK license. Uh, open Android Studio. I can't remember where it is. It's I think it's. Uh, In settings, isn't it? Settings, go to settings. Android SDK, yeah. SDK tools, and install that Android SDK command line tools latest. So if you have, if you do run into the license problem issue, go to Android SDK command line tools, install that. I should solve it um, because it's basically asking for you to accept the license. But that should work after you've done that. Uh, okay, I think I'll leave it at that. I want to keep it nice, sweet, so uh, like I said, if you run into any trouble, look at all the prerequisites you need to install in the documentation. But apart from that, it should work to get um, uh, you know, like a in HTML, JavaScript, CSS running, uh, and Android app. So that's that. Bye.